All right, everybody, how are you doing today? Lord PDTV here. I am giving you the, is it worth me playing the first descendant? Now, there's lots of different guides out there giving you multiple different information. And eventually I will be probably producing one also. But the biggest thing that I kind of want to talk about right now is it worth you playing? Now, there's a couple of things I want to kind of bring to everyone's attention. It is, you know, it's launched out there on Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, as well as on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So, you know, you have your options to pick them up. Now, we're going to get the annoying part of the, the video out of the way. If you're looking to support the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to support the channel. And we are going to, you know, we do videos on multiple different things at all times. So please make sure you do that. We also have the the shirts with the embroidery on it. If you're looking to do that, uh, that is a special order thing that we are doing in, in, our, in our Discord. Um, now that that's out of the way. Um, so anyway, the first Descendant, what I feel is it's a really good shooter fun game. Now, it does a lot of things that are good and positive, meaning the combat is fun and enjoyable. The special abilities are fun and enjoyable. I prefer the third person feel of that. Um, all of the descendants that I've played right now, so far I've played Bunny and I've played, I think it's, it's Lyric, or uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, that character feels very good very unique to individual to the person um dak has been playing also with me he also has a couple of characters that he's been playing with and he says that he also feels that they're very unique now i think that this game has got a lot of potential and the thing that i like about it is that the combat's good it's fun it's free to play now there are like XP boosters that you can get. And the reason why I'm kind of like saying it like that is because, you know, the XP boosters aren't really that make or break for you. It just allows you to level your descendant faster. Now, where I personally feel like we're getting knocked and hit pretty hard is not the fact that, you know, the the descendants are you know you gotta level them it's the fact that how you acquire the descendants that causes a problem one of the now i'm working to get i think it, it pronounces freena um as a character uh because i think that you know the whole entire thought process between the toxic stuff looks pretty cool the problem with that is that it has a 20% chance to drop a specific item for that character. I ran that tw not 20 times, but probably about 15 times to get the drop. I did about seven or eight of them with the bunny descendant. And then I did the rest of them with the other descendant never dropped. I would think with a 20% drop chance, at least five runs, I would have had it. Still don't have it. So I'm a little sad about it because I kind of wanted that character to play. So it kind of made me sad and really made me wonder if that's the actual drop percentage on that item. Now, as for the store, the stores you can buy them, and but it'll cost you like 20 bucks. And I'm like, I really don't want to spend 20 bucks on this. And that's where... I think that this free to play game is getting a lot of their money very similar to the way that warframe deals with their warframe gear the first descendant is dealing with it in the same fashion you put all of these cool stuff in the store you can grind for it but it is a billion times harder than just buying it so people are then going hmm what should i do should I buy it? Should I not buy it? I don't know. And then people will end up making that decision. If you want the ultimate version of that character, it's going to cost you $100. 
The difference between the ultimate version and the regular version is no different. It's just a look. So I'm really, I'm like, I really don't want to, I really don't think that's necessary. I think that, and then you also have the same thing with like the guns. Now you have to get special drops to craft the legendary guns, which kind of falls into that same effect. And they pretty much have this crafting area where you can craft piece by piece by piece that you need, but you got to farm those materials. It's going to take you a bit. I don't mind farming things, but just make sure the drop rates are, they're efficient. I don't feel like I'm going to jump off a cliff trying to grind for it, but please keep an eye on that and work on that. And then I'll be so happy to continue to do that grind and continue to play your game. If I feel like I'm playing this game, I'm going to jump off of a cliff. I don't want to, I don't want to play. As for the maps, the maps are really well done. Animations are really cool. Like it. The, these boss mobs that I'm starting to encounter, pretty cool. The zone that you have to zone into to, to fight the harder bosses. I like it. No trash. Go right in. Fight a boss, get some loot, get out, higher difficulty. I like it. It's cool. Works for me. So, I can't wait to see how they're going to end up continuing to make people want to play it. But this game right now is kind of similar to how I wanted to play Division 2 and how I wanted to play Warframe. Warframe for me, it just, it wasn't my cup of tea. There was too much movability. The fighting was all right, but it wasn't great. I know that there's other people that enjoy it. Lord Flame, he loves Warframe and more power to him. This game, I think, is more on my speed. So I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to see how the grinding works. I'm going to see how we're going to go with the future. So... It's going to take a little bit, but I think that we're going to work through it. Once I am done with the guides for Grey Zone Warfare, I'm going to try to start putting some more guides out for, you know, the first ascent. Uh, anyway, thank you all very much. I greatly appreciate you all for hanging out today. Uh, use Lord PDTV, check our merch store, um, sub to our, and... Uh, Rogue Energy Drinks, if you're looking to support the channel there, I greatly appreciate you. Dream big. Keep gaming. Have a fantastic week. Check out our channel often. We are on Twitch.tv and YouTube every single Monday through Friday. We're always gaming. We're always doing something. And we're always having fun. Very community driven. We want you there to participate. So, thank you all very much. And I'll see you all soon. Bye, everybody.